Okay, so hopefully the setting that I've got my camera on now should be good because like on the last two What's in the Box videos the colours looked way too bright and intense. Um, I had like the setting up too high so uh, I've changed the setting now and uh, the video should look a lot better. So uh, in this box is all of my dodecahedrons and higher sided puzzles. So yeah, let's take a look inside. So not all of my dodecahedrons are in this box, uh, basically because there's no room for them. For example, all of the crazy Megaminxes, there's no room in this box for all of those. And even even if there was enough room, um, to me the way a puzzle works, you know how it solves, is more substantial than how it looks. So if I've got a box full of dodecahedrons and a box full of crazy puzzles, and I've got a dodecahedron shaped crazy puzzle. Um, I'm going to put it in the crazy box because uh, you know that's how the puzzle functions, and it's to me that's more important than how a puzzle looks. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at what puzzles are in here straight away. We've got the uh, I think it's called the classical top mink, so it's the first top mink that very puzzle made, and um, yeah, these are almost impossible to get a hold of now. I was lucky enough to uh, to spot someone selling this on the Twisted Puzzles Museum. I think it was in Spain. So I, uh, I bought it off him, and uh, yeah, I think there's been several there's been several different top mixers made by Very Puzzle. Um, they all pretty much work the same. They just kind of look differently. There's like the speed top mix where uh, each face kind of goes inwards. Um, there's kind of like a top mix where the uh, the faces are kind of rounded instead of angular like these ones. Um, out of all of the top mixers, this is my uh, most favourite looking one. And it's it's a fun puzzle. It's uh, you know up until the end, it's very simple to solve. It's basically, I guess I'd say it's intuitive. But then you know when you're on the last set of hexagons and the uh, the pentagon, that's when uh, it starts to get tricky. So yeah, you can probably hear the rain on the uh, on the skylight. Terraminx by Sheng Shao, just an amazing looking puzzle. I think it's a lot of fun to solve. It just turns really, really, really well as well, um, which I think is just great considering the amount of pieces that it's made up from. Um, this is a puzzle where I do need to take breaks while I'm solving it because I would find it too tedious to solve if I was just going to solve it in one sitting. You know, so I'll probably just like work on this like each night. Here we've got the uh, I think it's called the Galaxy. Mega Minx, and um, you can see I've made a pattern on this. So, yeah, you get all sorts of different tiles with it, and you can take tiles off it, put tiles back onto it. So, I made this like sticker mod with the tiles. So, you can see it's got like star shapes on each face. So, that's really cool. Um, Shang Shao Mega Minx. Got the, uh, the Void Mega Minx, which I think is by Methods. Um, I've solved it loads of times and I've never encountered a parity on it. So I'm guessing the, the fact that it's a void Megaminx makes no difference to the way it's solved. The reason why I keep it in this plastic bag is because it kept falling apart on me. Um, and each time it would fall apart I'd have to glue, super glue a piece back on. Um, but since last gluing it I have scrambled and solved this quite a few times and it's not exploded so hopefully it'll be fine now but I've just kept it in this bag just in case it does explode again because then I can just keep put all the pieces into this bag and we've got two uh, MFA killer minxes are they called master killer minxes so this is like the common one and I just think it's a hell of a lot of fun and then this is the super rare stickless one um, now for some reason I didn't finish off solving this, I must have got distracted or something. Um, but you can see I've paired up all of the edges on the puzzle. And the reason why I've taken the uh, the centre caps off is because for one, when you turn in the faces on an MFA Master Killer Minx, the, uh, the centre caps, they like scrape against each other and damage each other. So that's why I've taken these off. And plus, I need them to be off so I can solve the uh, like the inner faces, I guess you'd call them. So, uh, yeah, I think 
think all I need to do now, really, is to solve this like a Mega Minx, the outside bits, and then try and solve the inner faces. So I'm not, not really sure what solving the inner faces is going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be difficult or what. Um, but obviously once I've done that, I'll put the, uh, the caps back on to it. So yeah, quite a few puzzles in this box are in my backlog. And I've got this one here, I think it's the MFA, is it uh, Pentagram or something like that? Got the, uh, the spiral Gigaminx there. Got a vintage puzzle here, Alexander Star. And we've got like um, a higher ordered version of Alexander Star. Which is a puzzle by Very Puzzle, which just looks so impressive. Oops. So there is a really cool sticker mod that I've seen for this, and I may I may do that sticker mod on this. It does look really cool. And uh, yeah, we've got the Mega Minx version of the Spiral Gigaminx there. Yeah, so we've got more MFA dodecahedron shaped puzzles. Now we can see the uh, we've got two clover dodecahedrons and two clover icosahedrons. Um, now, like I was saying before, the way a puzzle solves to me that's more substantial than the way it looks. So I'm not really sure why these puzzles aren't in the box where I've got all of my other clover puzzles. I'm guessing maybe there's not enough room for these in the box where I keep all of my other clover puzzles. You can see there, clover icosahedron, I've done a gradient colour scheme on this one. And then we've got the same puzzle again. But it's uh, So this one it's like in clear blue. This one is in black plastic and it's got like a regular colour scheme to it. And I'm not really sure what I've written on that note inside, but let's take a look. Okay, so on the note it says, see how solving this compares to solving the other one with a gradient colour scheme. So, um, so yeah, this is something that I want to do. I want to see how solving this normal one compares to this one with the gradient colour scheme. I wrote this down because I thought, well, you know, I might forget. And one day I might think, okay, I've got two clover icosahedrons. I'll sell, there's no point in keeping both of them, so I'll sell this one on eBay and uh, I'll keep this one. Um, comparing the way they both solve is something that I really want to do. Um, if they're both pretty much similar, then I'll solve this one on, on eBay. If they're both quite a lot different from each other, then I'll probably keep both of them, I guess. And we've got the beautiful Ian Star there in red, in red clear plastic, which I've shown in a lot of my videos. And we've got two Clover Dodecahedrons here. Two limited editions, so this one is in yellow, and I'm not sure what's happened there. And this one is in pink. Oops. Uh, can't remember what that's called, but it's like another kind of uh, Earth-themed Mega Minx sticker mod. I call the apps glow in the dark stickers. And uh, yeah, oh, this one I've I made a video of this a long time ago talking about where I was up to while solving it. Um, I've still not picked it back up since then, I don't think. Um, so it's still not solved yet. It's just uh, it's a really it's a really good challenge. It's fun, but at the same time, it's just a lot of hassle because uh, because of like how difficult it is to. Uh, to, uh, to turn the faces and stuff. Um, oh yeah, I've, I've really, really improved the turning of this. I can't remember exactly what I did. I think I took it apart, cleaned the pieces, put it back together. Maybe I gave it some lube as well. But it just turns so much better than how it used to turn. Let's see if I can turn it with one hand somehow. Too difficult to turn with one hand, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down 
and uh, let's try it this way. Let's see. So yeah, it turns way way better than what it did out of the box. I can't remember what it was like out of the box, I don't know if it was too stiff or whether it just caught a lot and locked up, I can't really remember. But now it just turns absolutely great. Uh, yeah, I guess that is about it, except for what's in here. Can't, oh, I was about to say I can't remember what's in here, but I've just remembered, it's the, uh, the Lovebird puzzle. Okay, so there you can see it. It's a really beautiful looking puzzle. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, this is my box full of dodecahedrons and higher sided puzzles. Thanks for watching.